Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O worship the King, all glorious above, O gratefully sing His power and His love. Our shield and defender, the Ancient of Days, pavilioned in splendor and girded with praise. O tell of His might, O sing of His grace, whose robe is the light, whose canopy space. His chariots of wrath, the deep thunder clouds form, and dark is His path on the wings of the storm. This earth with its store of wonders untold, Almighty thy power hath founded of old, hath established in fast by a changeless decree, and round it has cast like a mantle the sea. Thy bountiful care, what tongue can recite? It breathes in the air, it shines in the light, it streams from the hills, it descends from the plain, and sweetly distills in dew and rain. Frail children of dust and feeble as frail, in thee do we trust, nor find thee to fail. Thy mercies, how tender, how firm to the end, how merciful, how our maker, defender, redeemer, and friend, our measureless might, ineffable love, while angels delight to him thee above. Thy humbler creation, though feeble, their lays with true adoration shall sing to thy praise. Eagerly we await the fulfillment of our hope, the glorious coming of our Savior. In God alone is my soul at rest. My help comes from Him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress. I stand firm. How long will you all attack one man to break him down, as though he were a tottering wall or a tumbling fence? Their plan is only to destroy. They take pleasure in lies. With their mouth they utter blessing, but in their heart they curse. In God alone be at rest, my soul. For my hope comes from Him. He alone is my rock, my stronghold, my fortress. I stand firm. In God is my safety and glory, the rock of my strength. Take refuge in God, all you people. Trust Him at all times. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Common folk are only a breath, great men an illusion. Placed on the scales they rise, they weigh less than a breath. Do not put your trust in, in oppression, nor vain hopes on plunder. Do not set your heart on riches, even when they increase. For God has said only one thing. Only two do I know, that to God alone belongs power, and to you, Lord, love, and that you repay each man according to his deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord God, you reward each one according to his works. Hear us as we pour out our hearts to you, seeking your grace and secure protection. We look to you for our stable hope in a constantly changing world. Eagerly we await the fulfillment of our hope, the glorious coming of our Savior. May God turn his radiant face toward us and fill us with his blessings. O oh God, be gracious and bless us, and let your face shine and shed its light upon us. So will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. Let the peoples praise you, O oh God, let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and exult, for you rule the world with justice. With fairness you rule the peoples. You guide the nations on earth. Let the peoples praise you, O oh God, let all the peoples praise you. The earth has yielded its fruit. For God, our God, has blessed us. May God still give us his blessing till the ends of the earth revere him. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, 
as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Be gracious and bless us, Lord, and let your face shed its light on us so that we can make you known with reverence and bring forth a harvest of justice. May God turn his radiant face toward us and fill us with his blessings. Through him all things were made. He holds all creation together in himself. Let us give thanks to the Lord for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. We were created through him. All were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church. He who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him and, by means of him, to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Through him all things were made. He holds all creation together in himself. A reading from Philippians chapter 2. Work with anxious concern to achieve your salvation. It is God who, in his good toward you, begets in you any measure of desire or achievement. In everything you do, act without grumbling or arguing. Prove yourselves innocent and straightforward children of God beyond reproach. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I make my prayer for mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. The Son of Man will be handed over to the Gentiles to be mocked, scourged, and crucified. And on the third day, he will rise again. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and to his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Son of Man will be handed over to the Gentiles to be mocked, scourged, and crucified. And on the third day, he will rise again. All glory and honor to God, for in the blood of Christ he has ratified a new and everlasting covenant with his people, and renews it in the sacrament of the altar. Let us lift our voices in prayer. Bless your people, Lord. Lord, guide the minds and hearts of peoples and all in public office. May they seek the common good. Bless your people, Lord. Renew the spirit of dedication in those who have left all to follow Christ. May they give clear witness to the holiness of the church. Bless your people, Lord. You have made all men and women in your image. May they always uphold human dignity. Bless your people, Lord. 
Lead back to your friendship and truth all who have gone astray. Teach us how to help them. Bless your people, Lord. Grant that the dead may enter into your glory to praise you forever. Bless your people, Lord. Now let us offer together the prayer our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, teach us to live good lives. Encourage us with your support and bring us to eternal life. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.